congratulations on the big win. And uh, take us through that last sack. Uh, Peck Argyle, it, didn't, it looked like the last team to have the ball was going to score and win this thing, and, and Peck Argyle had their chances, but you broke in there. What happened, and what did you see? Uh, I was just, uh, well, there was a fight to the end, and I knew that that was going to be probably, if they would have got that first down, then it was just a fight there. And, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'd been running the quarterback all around, and I, I knew I just had one more chance, and I'd get him, and that was the last chance, and I came up and I got him on that last one. They had done a wonderful job of uh, keeping you guys on your toes with those lofty passes, and uh, and you know just when you thought you had them, they, they'd come through and, and convert. Uh, what did you do down the stretch to try to take that away and make sure that they didn't uh, uh, get the equalizer? We knew we just had to keep a level head and keep talking to each other and keep pushing. We knew that when just listen to our coach and what we practiced for, we knew if we fought for it, we could fight and win. It's been a battle every week in the Six Rivers. This is nothing different, was it? No, not really. This this game was. Probably our toughest game this year, but I'm glad that my boys could fight it out and pull it through. And now uh, your work is not done. Uh, you've got to go and play Belmont next week, and uh, and uh, I'm sure you don't want to share this conference title. But if they win, I think there'll be a whole lot of trophies minted in the Six Rivers Conference. What do you what do you think about next week? Uh, it's a big game. We just have to take it day by day and uh, make sure we keep level head next week too. And just, like we keep working as hard as we did, we'll do just fine. All right.